Hi there, I'm Christine, and if you're new to my channel, wish you a warm welcome. Look what I got today. Uh, we went on a drive to uh, New Market, and that's where Crystal Star Orchids uh, are, and they have a nice greenhouse there, actually several greenhouses, and so we had called in and made an appointment, and, uh, and of course we came home with some orchids, so look at what I got. This is a Vanda. It's um, got the label here. It is uh, Panchera Delight. It's got an FCC. And uh, I will at the J O G A. I have to look that up. Anyway, I'll put the, all of that on the screen. It's a beautiful blue Vanda. I think that's what it's called. It's got that checkered pattern on the um, flowers. The flowers are pretty large, the blooms are pretty large. Uh, I'll just put my hand there and you can see it's it's the size of my palm each of those blooms They're pretty large and it's got a really nice um, Bonus which is a smaller keiki that's grown and it's uh, ready to be separated from the mother plant um, and a very large extensive root system with lots and lots of root uh, tips that are growing just now. Um, let me try and get one to focus there. There you go. So yeah. And then uh, I went with my mom, so of course she got some too. So she's got a Vanda here as well. And this one has a spike on it. If I can get it to show you. Oh, I can't. It's up there. And um, hers is called, I'm just looking for the label, oh, let's see, it is uh, Robert's Delight Red Berry, so I'll put that on the screen as well, and yeah, hers is very nice healthy roots as well, it's kind of hard to see with the backlighting, sorry about that, and the root tips are, it's got a red uh, tinge to the, to the end of the root tips. So let me show you some more that we Okay, so next here's a Cattleya and this one it's bloomed already. I was hoping to get one in bud but they didn't have one. The plant itself doesn't look very healthy but I now know that I can revive um, the Cattleyas and I'm hoping I can do that. This one was uh, one that my husband selected. It is uh, Monte Elegante and I'll have the name on the screen as well. So yeah, it looks nice. It's got um, some nice healthy roots, but is in terrible need of a repot. So of course I was able to get a little bargain on this one. And uh, what else do we have here? Here is um, one of those star-shaped orchids. Um, it's a hybrid or intergeneric, I should say. Uh, Marfitch and uh, B-L-L-R-A, I'll have the name on the screen. Um, but it's uh, in bud right now, so I'll show it to you once it opens up. Very nice tall um, spike with lots of buds on it. So that's the second one. And then I got a tiny dendrobium. It's a mini dendrobium. And uh, this one is Hibiki. Hibiki, and uh, it's in flower with a cluster of blooms. So they'll be opening up, and I was told that they would last for over three months. Three months. So, um, yeah, I look forward to enjoying these blooms for a long time. Apparently, it's a compact plant. They, they'll only grow wider and more canes, but not much taller than this. So, yeah, it works out for me. That's the one, and we actually got two of those, one for me and one for my mom. Here is a species, um, and it is, it's got beautiful blooms on it. I like it. It's, it's slightly scented too. Yeah, it smells very citrusy, and it is Bellina. Falunops is Bellina, and uh, I think that's what the P is. I'll check that out and put it on the screen as well. It's scented and it uh, smells like 
limes actually. Yeah, it's it's very nice citrusy smell. And there, I was told not to cut the spike because it'll keep blooming on the same spike. So um, I'm liking that. Maybe I'm not so fond of these leaves when it has these white spots on it. Maybe I'll give it a clean with some hydrogen peroxide and uh, clean it up a little bit. Now this is my absolute favorite out of all of the ones I've got. It's also the last one. Um, it's another Cattleya. It's got Lelia in it and uh, it's the only one in bloom. So of course I grabbed it. It's a LC Mini Purple Ocean Blue and she is splendid and she's also scented. So I like it. Let me try and describe the scent. Um, Hmm, that's kind of hard to describe. Sort of like a sweet spice of some sort, but not very strong, not overpowering, but very, very nice scent. And she's beautiful. Um, there, there's a side view of her. Okay, so I will enjoy her blooms for a while too. And uh, she's recently been repotted, uh, I was told. So not to repot her until she fills up this pot. So that was my haul, um, and now I'll share some of my mom's. It's, I can't take it out of the packaging because they have to still make their way home to mom. But here's that dendrobium I showed you. And uh, then she also got um, catacetum, uh, and I'm just looking for her label. I believe it's the Millennium magic yes it is okay so she wanted one of her own and there is that that's the catacetum and this one is a species it's actually a very pretty one it's got these um really cute flowers if i can get it to focus no it won't focus for me but very pretty, and let me read out the name. Cornu Servi, and it's the Alba variety, and it's got three lips on it. So, um, yeah, it's a species Phalaenopsis. Okay, and so the next one, this is a Phalaenopsis. Now, my mom's got so many fowls. But to add one more to it, it's got beautiful blooms, and she was really attracted to it because of the blooms. Very nice, and they still have a lot more buds to go, so she'll enjoy it for a while. Well, there. And then this is one that my dad wanted, so he, it was his selection. It's a succulent, uh, Lobivia. Amblyensis. I I hope I'm not saying it totally wrong, but yeah, there there's the name, and it's got some blooms on it, and it's got these really cool um, shapes to the um, the plant itself, like almost like bottle shaped, and then behind that is. Um, Mary Green, Green Pride, and it is a cross, I'm not sure what it is, but um, let's just say Catacetum fam sorry, Catalea family, and I'll put the full name on the screen there for you. Um, but if I follow the plant along, you'll see it's got these really humongous uh, flowers. Um, here's the spike, and it's got right now, it's one, two, three, four, five buds on it, and one's about to be open. And the flowers are green with pink and yellow uh, in its center, and it's really, really, really pr pretty. Maybe in my next video, I'll show you a picture of it once it opens up. So then, moving along, she's she bought several. So she's got, um, let's see, this is another one here. It's uh, one of the star-shaped or orchids. Uh, and they're in bud, so th th it's this one here that I'm following along, and it's Kai's Choice, 
and I'll have the name, I don't know what BRSDM is, it's, it's an intergeneric, so I'll have the name on the screen. Uh, this is supposed to be uh, green, brown, reds, all in the flower and they're star shaped and they have two spikes on the same plant, so there are the two spikes right there. And then there's the last one here. Um, hmm, I don't see a label. Oh, one right there. Okay, so the label for this one is, oops, there we go. Uh, Marf, Marfitch Howard's Dream, and it's got an award, AM, uh, Award of Merit at the American Orchid Society. B-L-L-R-A, so I'll have that name on the screen as well. This one, I believe, it's, it also has two spikes. You can see one right here. Where's my finger now? You can't see that. Whoops. Right there. Okay, so one right here, and then the taller one with the, the flowers. And I believe this is a purple. It's got purple in it and star-shaped as well. So, you're probably wondering what made us go and buy all these orchids. It's actually um, my mom's birthday weekend. And so, it was my dad's uh, gift for her. Uh, and she got a whole haul of orchids. And because I went along, I got some too. What a treat that was, right? So, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And um, do uh, stay tuned for all of the updates on these orchids and uh, others that I have uh, right now. I have a few videos lined up I should be able to put on for you um, soon. So thanks again for watching. And if you did like this video, do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, do subscribe. You'll be the first to know when I upload a video. Thanks for watching, and until next time, enjoy your orchids. Bye-bye.